Oh my. So let's see why it's sold every four seconds. The most sold cushion foundation. It is very popular in Japan. It's very popular in Korea and it's made its way to the US. This is the brand Turter and this is their Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation. So let's see why it's sold every four seconds. I purchased it on Amazon for 25 US dollars. Depending from which retailer you purchase it from, I saw for $32, $25, this is the full size. They also have a mini. So this is a semi-matte finish foundation. It has incredible full coverage depending on how much you build up. It's supposed to be very long lasting, but also has skincare in here. And I picked up two shades. We have 21 neutral ivory, and then I picked up 17 cool porcelain. Open it up, has a nice size mirror. You have the puff that's also shaped like an egg. You open this up and let's do the honors. Let's take this off. And this also is refillable. So the refillable, I believe I saw it for around 14 or $16. Let's see if this is a good color match. 17C porcelain. Honestly, it might be my shade. <laughs> it's not really fragranced, but it does have a, like a skincare scent. Okay, let's go in with it. I'm gonna go on the left side first. Oh wow, that's a lot of coverage. And I barely pressed it into the cushion. Wow, okay. We have a pimple right there. That is a little painful. So let's see how good we can cover this. Wow, that's a lot of coverage. Oh my. Oh my, that smells like grape. Wow, a little bit goes a long way. Oh my, it just keeps going. I'm like, where is it coming from? I'm gonna take my time a little bit here and really work this into my skin and make sure it's blended in before, after. All the redness is color corrected. You can still see that pimple, but it's massive, but the color looks really good on my skin. But overall, very easy to apply. Even though it has a semi-matte finish, I was a little concerned that it would dry down really fast. You still have quite a bit of playing time and it doesn't look patchy when you're blending it out. I could have easily taken all of it on my face and that would have been enough coverage, but I wanted to see what it looks like, you know, with the amount that I applied. A very great coverage, I'm impressed. And it doesn't look heavy on the skin. It has these powders in the skin, in the formula as well. So I can see where the semi-matte finish comes from, but it does not look cakey on the skin, which I'm very impressed with and happy with. Again, I'm barely pressing into the cushion and whatever is on the makeup sponge or the makeup applicator, it is going a long way. I mean, wow. I just love applying cushion foundations. They're so satisfying. I mean, just getting rid of everything. I can see where people say it looks like a mask on your skin, but in a, like all the right ways. I mean, it's literally in the name. Wow, this is going far. I feel like I need to tap up, tap it off <laughs> the back of my hand. A little too much. The only thing, I was having a little bit of issue around the nose. So I just kind of took my finger and worked it in. I feel like it's not wanting to get in there and those little crevices around my nose right here. You see what I mean? Just gently go back in, make sure it's blended. Make sure to close this, so that way the cushion doesn't dry out. I finished the rest of my makeup. Like I said, I'm gonna apply a little bit of concealer. I'm just mixing my High Glam concealer from Natasha Denona and Tower 28. Milani Cream Bronzer. I can't get enough of this product right now. With my Makeup and Mario F1 brush. Wow, that's applying flawlessly. For blush, I'm taking my LA Girl, their Cream Blush. This is in shade Kiss Up. And then I'm gonna take my Milk Makeup, the Jelly Cooling Sticks. I like these for my lips. Beautiful stain, so effortless, wears down so nice throughout the day, but it looks best with a lip liner. Oh, so cooling. It looks like you ate a popsicle. It looks like the cushion foundation is oxidizing a little bit on my skin. You can see it on the cheeks and the jaw. It's looking a little yellow with like the rest of my body. 
I'm impressed with the way the rest of the makeup applied on top of the foundation. It's looking a little glowing on my forehead, but I do like the way it's looking right here on my cheeks, on my chin, around my nose. It's looking really nice. I am gonna keep you guys updated, but I feel like I might want to powder my forehead to kind of tone down the shine just a tad. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit with the first check-in. So let's go on to the next part of this review. It's been a couple of hours and I wanted to check in just to sh explain how my face is feeling right now. It's feeling good, but it's not feeling as lightweight as I want it to feel. Can you guys hear this? I don't know, it just feels tacky on the skin. It doesn't feel like it's fully setting and drying down, which I'm not excited about that because Usually with semi-matte foundations, they dry down and it has almost that velvety, silky, powdery feel. This one doesn't have it. I do like the way it's looking on my skin. You can definitely see the foundation on my skin. But again, we're working with really full coverage here. So if it's a full coverage foundation, you will definitely see it on your skin. But it doesn't look heavy. I am still glowy. But I honestly don't think I have to powder as of right now. But again, it's only been two hours. I'm working outside because the weather is spectacular. It's not muggy. It's not dry. It's just perfect. But happy with how we're looking right now. I just came into the office and the sun is right in my face. I'm looking a little, a little, a little glowy on the forehead. I'm just going to take my MAC, the Studio Fix. Pro Set and Blur Powder, just to tone that shine down a little bit. And I was looking, I'm editing the video right now, and the foundation went all over my eyebrows. I did not even, was not even looking at my eyebrows. So let's just fix that. <laughs> We're still glowy, but it's a little softer. I will say it feels a lot better now. Pimple still looks good. The foundation is not rubbing off. Seven hours in. I think for the coverage that I have on my face, it's not moving around. It's not, I'm not seeing any patchiness of my skin. The only thing I'm seeing, like the heaviness, is right here around my mouth where I could have honestly just skipped most of that coverage because I don't need that much coverage around, around my mouth. And there is a little bit of cracking. And I feel like, you know, eating, moving, smiling, talking, you can see the foundation kind of starting to separate around my, like, my mouth. So I'm not liking the way it's looking there, like my chin and around my mouth and like a little bit around the nose. But the jaw, the cheeks, the forehead, the nose, like the bridge of my nose, beautiful. I honestly don't even have to touch up as of right now. And I do like the glow on my cheeks and right here. I think my cheeks, they look very plump. They're hydrated, but I don't look oily. And I haven't the three hour mark where I powdered my forehead and I was touching my skin, my face. I'm not feeling that tacky stickiness anymore whatsoever. So the feeling is great on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like tacky. It doesn't feel sticky. So I feel like I just... It just had to kind of set a little bit more, but it took like three hours to set on my skin. But it was not moving around. It wasn't slipping and sliding. It just had that like tacky, like sticky feeling, like some of those like stack, like sticky tacky primers do. For example, like the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip or the e.l.f. Power Grip primers, like they have that tacky feeling, but the foundation has not been moved around. So you can definitely see the foundation on the skin because it is a full coverage foundation. But the way it looks on the skin, it looks really nice. And I like the way it feels on my skin now. <laughs> we have made it to the end, you guys. We are almost 14 hours in. Let's see right here. I have some paper towel. I wanna see. Like it's not, it's not really transferring at all. I was doing that earlier and I didn't really see any transfer. I'm like trying to really press. If anything, I'm like taking off the bronzer and the blush. But this foundation, very impressed with the longevity. Overall, if you like a cushion foundation, definitely give the Red Mask Cushion Foundation a try. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this brand, either Tear Tear or Tur Tur. I looked online and I heard people pronounce it different ways. I'm not exactly sure, so my apologies. But this cushion foundation, it's definitely at the top list for me personally. A little bit goes a long way. It stretches very far. I like that there is 
quite a bit of playing time this foundation. It doesn't set really fast. It has that tacky feeling, but the tackiness left and it's not tacky anymore. If you have oilier skin type, I would maybe do like a mattifying primer underneath because even though this does have a semi-matte finish, it still provides that hydration throughout the day. And my natural oils have come up to the surface. I mean, you can see like right around my nose, my forehead's a little more shiny. I did powder my forehead using the MAC, the Studio Fix Pro Set and Blur Powder. And I only did it on the forehead. I didn't do it anywhere else. And this foundation is definitely worth checking out definitely worth looking into if you like cushion foundations. It is pretty amazing. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see the next one very soon.